Hey everyone, my name is Nathan Payne. Welcome back to another episode of Blue Ocean Crypto. Today I want to cover getting started in Honeyland. So this is everything you need to know to start playing the game and start harvesting that XD. So first off, you want to head to the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. You simply search for Honeyland. You'll find it, which is awesome, right? I mean, they're on, they're literally worldwide right now on the App Store. Then once it's done, you just hit open. You're gonna come into this. I definitely recommend, as always, reading the terms and conditions before you do. But then once you do, you just hit that you accept. And now this is interesting because you have a couple options here. I talked about this in a previous video during the introduction to the Honeyland. If you haven't seen that yet, I definitely recommend you check it out. Now I can connect with my Phantom wallet right now as long as I have Phantom on my mobile. Now, I don't actually recommend that. Now, the big reason for that, you can't use hardware wallets with this game. The only thing I haven't tried is using an emulator and seeing if I can get the emulator to link to a hardware wallet through that. I even tried Ledger X with the Bluetooth, but it doesn't support app connections. So I've asked them in our Discord. They basically told me, no, the best thing to do is sign in with Apple or Google. The game will make you a Solana wallet then you can simply export that private key, go into a completely new Chrome browser profile, use your Soulflare or Phantom Wallet and import it there. So it's kind of isolated on its own. It's not connected to the rest. That's basically the best way to do it. One other important thing though, if you sign in with Google, that does mean you're gonna be able to use an emulator with this. So generally that might be the better route, I did Apple. I don't mind playing on the tablet and phone. I actually prefer that, but I kind of did Apple first and then realized, hmm, if I had done the Google, I could be running blue stacks and kind of be clicking on things and doing it that way. So just an important note for you guys, depending on what you want to do. But then when you just sign in, you're going to be brought over to this <clears throat> web three auth. Um, if it, for whatever reason, doesn't work, just try it again. You'll be able to go through it. I noticed I had to try it twice. That's going to ask me to approve it here. So we'll just do that. Uh, usually it works right away. Now that I've done it the first time, though, every time I have to re-log in, I've kind of tested this quite a few times. But like I said, that first time I noticed it did take twice. Then we're in the game. Now, I just want to go over how you guys should kind of tackle this and get started. There's going to be missions and quests, which are really important. Definitely follow all of those. And, and actually, currently, there's a seven day kind of training period that you have to get through no matter what right now. The team did talk about trying to fix that or change that, but we're all kind of in the same boat. So you actually kind of want to make sure that you do the sign up properly, whether it's Google, Apple or Phantom, your preference. Like I said, I, they recommended the Google or Apple because as you progress that account, you're kind of working your way through these seven days. Each time you go through the training, you're able to send out more bees, do a little bit more. So that's actually kind of the biggest limitation right now is the seven day constraint to try to get through all of these things. So just a quick lowdown on the bottom right, you can see tasks. It's kind of the first option after the double arrows. This is where all your daily tasks are essentially. So I believe I'm on day five. You know, I just need to kind of get through this, make sure I do all these every single time. What that's going to do is give me experience points, which levels up my main profile. You can kind of see on the left hand side, I'm level six as I level up. Like I said, it's letting me send more bees. It's unlocking other features. Actually, if you look down on the bottom right, you can see I don't even have PVP enabled right now. But here's a good example. I used Apple. I can actually hit export private key right now. Yes. Now it's been copied. I can go send that to myself somewhere secure, go into the computer, load up my Soul Flare or Phantom Wallet, import that private key, boom, good to go. Now I can even use that wallet on Magic Eden's Marketplace, which does work on the mobile too, but if I just want to do it on the computer, I can do it that way. So I really like how they did this. Uh, you Obviously, you have your name, shows kind of all your stats here. So go through the missions. That's the most important thing. The game is going to really lead you through it. The tasks are what's going to be important to focus on. I'm not going to go through all of the other menus and everything else because the game really does a decent job of kind of leading you into that. 
There is one other section that I do want to show you guys, which I think is good kind of poking around it and spending a fair bit of time. Up on the top right, if you just hit the three arrows, this kind of gives you everything. So you can see in here all the different options. I recommend going through them one by one. <clears throat> if you haven't checked out the help center area and the charts on their website, like I mentioned in the last video, definitely do that. I also love hate the seven day trading thing because if you were to just try to ape in, you're gonna make a lot of mistakes. You're not gonna get the right Bs, matching moods, matching likes. Uh, you're not gonna understand what agility does or endurance or a lot of the different stats. So you're gonna end up buying kind of these like just a set of Bs that aren't as efficient or min-maxed as they could be. But the training does a good job at leading you through that. But uh, it is a little tough because I just wanna you know jump in. I feel like I know what I'm doing quite a bit now, but I kind of have to wait. So, you know, it's like I said, it's a love hate thing, but it's giving me more time to digest the game, really understand how it all works, which I actually think is good for onboarding players because they're not going to have a frustrating experience on the Web 3 side of things. Web 2, you're just going to jump in the game, good to go, you're playing off to the races. So, this is just a brief getting started video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, be sure to be subscribed to the channel if you're not already. I'll be covering more Honeyland videos as my hive progresses. We'll be doing deep dives into kind of the universe, how to send them out, how do all the stats work. You know, I'm going to cover quite a few things here for you. I'm, I'm really loving this video uh, game quite a bit. And of course, thank you for everyone who smashed that like button. We'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.